If you're in this industry and you're starting to sell annuities, you're in an elevator that's going up. And I think the next trend is the great wealth transfer. Right now in the US, we're seeing one of the biggest financial shifts in recent history, and it's happening pretty much under the radar. This is the great wealth transfer. It's set to change the game for millions of people across different generations. The greatest wealth transfer in history was COVID, where a million people dying would be bad, but I know I have a better idea. Let's flood the market with stimulus such that the incumbents that already own stocks and houses see their assets skyrocket. According to Cerulli Associates, by 2045, a jaw-dropping $84 trillion is going to flow from baby boomers to millennials and Gen Z. But here's the kicker. It's not all going down the way you might think. With rising living costs, longer retirements, and those unpredictable markets, this transfer is definitely taking some unexpected turns. But here's a question for you. Who really stands to benefit from this massive transfer of wealth? And will it actually help solve the financial challenges faced by millennials and Gen Z, or just create new ones? Stick around until the end to find out, because what you'll discover might just surprise you. But first, we'll discuss about who's involved in this massive wealth transfer. Well, it's primarily the baby boomers, those born between 1946 and 1964, who currently hold the majority of the nation's wealth. They've built up their assets over decades, from real estate to retirement funds. And on the receiving end, we have millennials and Gen Z. These younger generations are navigating their early careers, student loans, and the dream of home ownership. But here's the kicker. Many of them are struggling to build wealth in a vastly different economic landscape. While boomers amass their fortunes through years of steady growth, so wealth inequality is a massive problem in the United States, but we also have this um, wealth transfer that's happening between boomers and millennials. Boomers are retiring. Um, some of that wealth is going toward millennials. Younger generations are dealing with inflation, rising costs, and stagnant wages. All right, let's talk numbers. As we already discussed in the start of the video that the great wealth transfer is projected to move a staggering 84 .4 trillion by 2045. To put that into perspective, this amount is four times greater than the GDP of the entire European Union, which was about $20 trillion in 2024. And it's also almost three times larger than the GDP of the United States which is around $29 trillion. In fact, it's roughly equivalent to the GDP of the entire world as it was back in 2010. Now, out of 84.4 trillions of wealth transfer, 72.6 trillion will be passed down to heirs, while another 11.9 trillion will head to charitable organizations. Baby boomers alone will transfer over 53 trillion, which is about 63% of this total. That's like a wealth wave moving from one generation to the next. And let's not forget the silent generation who'll be passing on $15.8 trillion with most of this happening within the next 10 years. But here's where it gets even more interesting. About $35.8 trillion of this wealth, 42% of the entire transfer comes from high net worth and ultra high net worth households. And get this, these households make up just 1.5% of all families. So a tiny slice of the population is moving nearly half of all that wealth. That's a lot of zeros for a small percentage of people. Now, for those on the receiving end, it's not just about waiting for an inheritance check. Tax planning is becoming a big part of the picture. High net worth families are using strategies like grantor trusts, which 77% of wealth practices recommend to improve tax efficiency. Then there are spousal lifetime access trusts, popular with 54% of advisors, and good old strategic gifting, which 46% of families use. According to Chase Horton, a Cerulli analyst, wealth managers have to keep up with tax laws as they're constantly evolving. Why? Because these laws will affect how smoothly wealth gets passed down and how much actually stays in the family versus going to Uncle Sam. So you might be wondering why is this transfer happening now? 
it's partly due to simple timing. Boomers are aging and naturally, they're beginning to pass on their wealth. But it's also influenced by broader economic trends. In recent years, living expenses have skyrocketed. Housing, healthcare, and education costs are taking a bigger bite out of incomes than ever before. From 20, 25 years from now, when your grandchildren say, what the fuck did you do during the greatest transformation of wealth? Meanwhile, boomers are living longer and are more likely to need their assets to support extended retirements. These factors mean that even as wealth is being transferred, it's not happening in the ways you'd expect. The wealth is often tied up in assets that are hard to liquidate quickly, like real estate or stocks, rather than cash that can be easily handed down. Now, how is this wealth actually being transferred? Inheritance is one major channel, but it's not just about who gets what in a will. Boomers are increasingly using living trusts, investing in businesses with their children, or even gifting while they're alive to avoid high estate taxes. But here's where it gets tricky. These transfers are often influenced by the markets. If real estate prices drop, for example, those assets might not be as valuable as once thought. And then there's the role of government policies. With estate taxes and shifting regulations, it's not just a matter of passing down wealth, but of navigating a complex web of financial rules. As boomers transfer their wealth, they're also reshaping it adding layers of complexity for millennials and Gen Z to unravel. Uh, but there's more to this wealth transfer than meets the eye. While we often picture inheritances as checks and property being passed down, many older adults are embracing a more hands-on approach called giving while living. This isn't just about leaving behind money, it's about sharing wealth and experiences in real time. Think about it. Parents have been paying for their kids' education helping with weddings, and even chipping in for first homes for years. But now, it's becoming even more common for boomers to prioritize sharing their wealth while they're here to enjoy it with their families. Then there is one of the biggest trends, multi-generational travel. After the pandemic, the travel industry saw a boom in families, especially grandparents and their kids and grandkids taking trips together. It's about more than just seeing the sights. It's about creating memories across generations. According to a recent U.S. Family Travel Association survey, half of the respondents have taken a multi-generational trip in the past three years. And guess who's usually footing the bill? Grandparents. They're planning, organizing, and paying for these experiences because they see travel as a way to connect, bond, and share memories with their families. For many boomers, these experiences are a part of their legacy. They're choosing to enjoy their wealth alongside their families, creating lasting memories that no amount of money can buy. It's also a way for extended family members to join in on the fun, with cousins, nieces, and nephews often tagging along to not miss out on the bonding. And for some, the idea of skip-gen travel where grandparents take their grandkids on trips without the parents, is gaining popularity, creating unique opportunities for bonding. While the great wealth transfer will be about money changing hands, it's clear that this transfer goes beyond financial assets. It's about passing down experiences, memories, and connections that shape families for generations. As boomers share these moments, they're redefining what wealth truly means. It's not just dollars and cents, it's the unforgettable trips, the shared laughter, and the family bonds that make up a legacy. And maybe that's the real wealth being transferred. So, as the great wealth transfer unfolds, it's not just about inheriting assets, it's about understanding and adapting to a changing financial world. Whether you're a boomer, millennial, or Gen Z, this shift will likely impact you in ways you haven't even considered yet. Stick with us for more insights into these changes. And if you found this video enlightening, don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. How do you see this transfer affecting you and your future? This transfer 